Hi! Welcome to Best Stories. This is the Adventures of Packy the Rat podcast. I'm so glad to have you listen to the story with us today. This is Episode 12, Meet Willow. What a day! It's one of those days you don't ever want to end. But from their bedroom window, the kids could see that the sun had started to set and sadly they knew that this wonderful day was coming to an end. Their mom told them to look out the window again. She said, see the beautiful red sky on the horizon? That tells us that tomorrow will be another great day. And the setting sun also tells us that it is time for another story in the adventures of Packy the Rat. But before that can happen, heads down, covers up, and lights out. And then their mom began the story. On this beautiful summer day, Packy and Priscilla had been playing in the field all day, running and chasing each other. They made up a game called Catch Me If You Can. They had so much fun. Packy started by chasing Priscilla, and he had to keep chasing Priscilla until he caught her. But the trick in their game was that Packy had to catch Priscilla before she reached the pond and dove into the water. If she reached the pond before Packy caught her, Priscilla was safe, and Packy was still the chaser. If he caught her, then Priscilla had to try to catch Packy before he reached the pond. Well, Packy and Priscilla played this game all day long. And finally, the sun had started to set, and everything grew quiet and still around the farm. Well, Packy and Priscilla were ready to call it a day, and they headed back to the barn. And when they got to the barn, it was anything but quiet. Ginger had been trying to get her fl- goslings to go fly with her around the farm all day. She needed to start preparing them for their journey south. See, Ginger and her goslings will need to leave when the weather starts to turn cold outside. Today, she wanted them to fly around the farm to get used to flying as a group in their V formation. But it wasn't going so great. She had started this endeavor early this morning and all she had accomplished was nonsense and chaos. The little goslings had turned it into a game of some sort. Ginger had tried to get all the goslings to fly out of the barn by following her as a group, so then they could all fly out of the barn together at the same time. But instead of flying out of the barn, the goslings bumped and crashed and beaked and flapped one another until all the goslings were on the ground, running and pecking and flapping about. So, then Ginger tried to just have one of the goslings follow her out of the barn. But that just led to the other goslings blocking that gosling before the gosling reached the barn doors, which then led to the same chaos of running and pecking about on the ground. So Ginger's flying lesson had not gone very well today. The goslings just didn't want to fly out of the barn. Poor Ginger. She watched as the goslings hissed and pecked and flailed about. Oh, good heavens, this is a disaster, Ginger hissed. Now, when Packy and Priscilla opened the barn doors, straw and feathers flew into their faces. They saw the goslings flapping and hopping all about, making a mess, stirring up dust and straw everywhere. Ginger, what is happening, Packy cried. Why are the goslings flapping about? They're making a mess. We need to settle them down. I have been trying. Hiss, 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 said Ginger. But good heavens, they are not cooperating or listening to me today. All I wanted to do was give them a flight lesson. And it has just turned into this. We were just going to take a quick and simple flight around the farmyard. But good heavens, I cannot get them out of the barn. Not a single one of them will follow me and fly out of this barn. I even tried to have little Jeffrey follow me and fly out of the barn. But before we reached the barn door, instead of the other goslings following him and flying with us, 
Oh, they swoop down around and block him so he turns away, and then they all continue to run and flap about. Every time one of them starts to fly with me, another one blocks that one down, and then they start flapping him about and scattering up all this straw and feathers. Packy and Priscilla were kind of tired from their own game they had played all day, and they watched the little goslings endlessly tackle, peck, and beak one another. Packy and Priscilla told Ginger that it was time to stop this flying lesson and call it a day, and then she could have to try to do flying lessons tomorrow. Well, Ginger agreed, but she said she didn't know how to stop all the nonsense. Good heavens, I would have stopped them hours ago if I could have. It seems that these little goslings were overstimulated and could not stop. Priscilla looked at Packy and said, I agree with Ginger. This is hopeless. Well, said Packy, everyone stops for food, especially all the delicious food we gathered for dinner. Packy had apples and tomatoes and even some berries. Oh, and thank goodness it worked. The goslings must have worked up an appetite. They immediately settled down and started pecking at all the food as soon as Packy set it out. Honk, honk, said Ginger. I'm rather relieved they settled down and are eating and have stopped all the nonsense and flying about. Ginger was very happy for the peace and quiet. But it was not for long because Buddy wandered into the barn and he had someone with him. There was a small barn owl resting on his back and all of a sudden that little barn owl let out a loud and obnoxious scream. The scream was so loud it rang throughout the barn and pierced all the animals' ears. It startled the little goslings. They were so scared by the noise they all quickly ran and hid in their nest. All the animals looked at Buddy, but Ginger honked at him first. Good heavens, Buddy, what have you brought into the barn now? I have had all about all the nonsense I can handle for one day. Hiss, 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 said Ginger. Well, said Buddy, this is Willow. He's just a little old barn owl. He was living in that big oak tree up by the farmhouse. And that strong wind last night knocked that big old oak tree down. And Willow had been in the tree when it fell. He lost his home. This morning, I wandered over that way, and I was just munching on some overgrown garden patch, and I heard him. He let out that loud scream. So I looked all around, and and, and I found him. And there was that little willow, the owl there. He was stuck under a large branch. Why does he have such a loud cry, said Packy. What's wrong? Well, I do think that is the normal sound for a barn owl, said Oliver. But, added Buddy, when the tree fell, a large branch landed on his claw, and Willow was stuck. I pulled him out, but I think one of his talons broke. He seems to have a limp or a hop about him. So I carried him on my back and brought him here so we could help him. Well, that's very nice that you brought him here, said Priscilla. He needs help and we can help him find another tree to live in once his claw is healed. Willow the owl hopped off Buddy and limped around. Then the little owl limped over and settled into the nest with Ginger and her goslings. Ginger hissed and hissed. Then she honked. Oh, why is my nest always the place for injured animals? Oh, buddy, I'm having enough problems of my own today. Ginger was not exactly happy with this, and she hissed and hissed. But Buddy looked at the goslings. They were all tired out from their crazy day, and all the little goslings had fallen fast asleep, along with Willow, the little barn owl. Buddy whispered to Ginger, Oh, Ginger! I think the little goslings don't mind. They're all asleep already. And so is that little owl. Oh, hiss, said Ginger. All right. Packy told Ginger, Well, at least the goslings stopped fluttering and flapping about all about and fell asleep. Yes, yes. It's been a horrendous day, said Ginger. I don't think they want to leave the barn, she said. With a hiss, 
Then Ginger told her brown friends, Many of the other flocks of geese have been flying around for weeks, and these little goslings won't fly outside the barn. Well, you never know, said Buddy. Maybe this little guy can help you. Buddy, said Ginger, I don't see how a little owl with a loud scream and injured talon can help me, sighed Ginger. And Ginger fell asleep, hissing and hissing, and exhausted after her chaotic day. In the days that followed, things didn't get much better for Ginger. The goslings still did not want to fly out of the barn yet, but they were flying. It was just still within the confines of the barn and with their new little friend Willow, that little owl, barn owl with the loud scream. Willow's talon, talon was injured, but not his wings. So the goslings, along with Willow, flew about the barn, stirring up dirt and straw and feathers. Buddy and Henry and Clara stood around in the barn and got covered in all this dust and straw and feathers that flew about. But, you know, they didn't mind, and Priscilla scurried about and brushed it off them, and they just watched as the goslings and Willow flew around and about inside the barn. Well, Packy got right into playing with them. He would dive into the straw and hide and wait for the goslings and Willow to find him. Good heavens, Packy, must you encourage this nonsense? You are making a bigger mess than the goslings, scolded Ginger. And the bottom line was that Ginger needed to stop all the nonsense and get her goslings to fly out of the barn. And her patience was running out. She honked at Buddy. We need to get that owl out of this barn very soon. He has not helped me at all. Look at this mess. Oh, look at the goslings. They have straw stuck in their feathers, Ginger honked. I need to get these goslings ready for their flight south. I may never get them ready. Ginger hissed and hissed. What am I going to do? Buddy looked at the goslings and at Willow. And all Buddy could say to Ginger was, well, at least they're flying, Ginger. Buddy wanted to help Ginger. He went up to the goslings and Willow to try to stop them from flying all about. But they flew up and down and all around Buddy, and little Jeffrey found Buddy's ticklish spot and flapped his wing under Buddy's chin. Buddy started to giggle, and then he rolled, and he laughed along with all the other goslings and Willow and Packy, making a bigger mess. Ginger just looked and said, Oh, good heavens. Boy, Priscilla knew that poor Ginger had had enough. She saw, though, when she saw Willow's talon as he was perched on Henry's stall door. As she looked at him, she, she realized that his talon was healed. His claw must feel better. All he needed was a little time. And now that his talon was healed, and they could take him to look for a new home in a tree where he belongs. Packy told everyone in the barn that night, Well, Priscilla and I have some good news. It appears that Willow's talon is healed, and he can perch himself on a branch safely. And now we can take him to find a home in a tree. Tomorrow, Priscilla, Buddy, and I will help him find a new tree to live in. That is good news, Ginger honked. Although I still have no idea how I will get these goslings to fly out of the barn. Ginger hissed as she watched her goslings wrestle around and goof around with each other. But he said, now that Willow is better, maybe he can help you. Ginger was glad the little owl was better, but she honked, oh, thank you, buddy, but it is going to take a miracle to get these goslings out of the barn. And Packy said, don't worry, Ginger, because once we find Willow a new home, we will all try to help you get these goslings to fly out of the barn. Ginger thanked Packy too. But she was a little doubtful that anything was going to work. The next morning, Packy and Priscilla hopped onto Buddy to take Willow to look for a new tree. Packy called Willow to hop onto Buddy along with them. But as they left the barn, Willow did not ride on Buddy with Packy and Priscilla. 
Willow flew above them and flew out of the barn. Then what happened next surprised everyone. The goslings followed Willow and Packy and Priscilla and Buddy. Every one of the goslings flew out of the barn. No one could believe what they saw. The goslings were out of the barn and they were flying. Ginger at first honked and honked for joy. Then she immediately took flight and joined her goslings and flew out of the barn with them. Well, it was not exactly what Ginger was trying to achieve for the goslings first practice flight. Ginger and her goslings followed Buddy, Packy, and Priscilla and Willow around looking for a new home for Willow. The goslings wanted to help Willow find a new home. The goslings flew from one tree to another, helping Willow decide what tree would make a good home. One tree was too tall. It was not safe if you fell out. One tree had needles instead of leaves, which was not very comfortable. Another tree was perfect, but already it was full with so many other animals living in it, it was too crowded. Then, Packy and Little Jeffrey found a tree not far from the barn. It was protected from wind and only had a little squirrel living in there. All the goslings flew up into the tree and honked. There was enough room for them and Willow to fit in the tree. The goslings honked and Willow screamed for joy. Willow had found his new home, and Ginger had gotten the goslings to fly out of the barn. But Ginger had one more lesson to get through today. Ginger quickly flew into the sky and circled high above the tree a few times. And then Ginger honked for joy as the little goslings took flight and followed right behind her. Ginger flew around the whole barnyard with the goslings. They flew over the pond over the meadow, then up to the farmhouse before landing back in the barn. She landed in the barn quite pleased and relieved knowing her goslings will now be ready when it is time to take flight for their journey south. Ginger looked at Buddy very kindly and she let out a honk. Even if she didn't always show it, she was thankful for his help and their friendship. Buddy knew what Ginger's honk was telling him. She was saying thank you. Oliver the pig watched Buddy and Ginger, and he also knew what Ginger was trying to say to Buddy too. And Oliver said to all of his friends, Well, my friends, it just goes to show you sometimes even small things can help in a big way. Then he told his friends that Buddy was right to bring that small owl to the barn because after all helping each other is what life is all about ginger swayed her head back and forth yes 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 quite right said ginger and she honked a sincere thank you but ginger was rather tired from her successful day and said good night to all her friends and that is the end of the story of the Adventures of Packy the Rat podcast for today by Best Stories. And here are some fun facts before we go. Did you know that geese know when it's time to fly south by measuring the amount of sunlight each day? Mm-hmm. So, as the amount of sunlight starts to decrease, geese will know that they need to begin flying south soon. And... Well, it is good news that Ginger and her goslings will be ready. And that is all for today. Hope you enjoyed the story.